Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a video about some goodies that I picked up at TJ Maxx. Now, I'm sure you guys have seen videos like this where beauty gurus will go to TJ Maxx and show you some of the awesome makeup finds that they get. Also, I think Marshalls carries a lot of name brand beauty goodies uh, that you can find discounted there. So. I'm going to stop blabbering and get into this video, but before I do, I just want to remind you guys to subscribe to my channel down below. I upload every other day, so you do get quite a bit of content from me, so I hope you will consider subscribing. Okay, so I didn't get too much stuff, but here is my little bag, and let's see here. So the first thing that really got me excited was this guy. Now this is the Kat Von D Shade and Light contour kit so this is their old packaging it isn't the plastic packaging that she just came out with but I was so excited to see this there because I actually really really like this palette here is my original that I've had for quite a while now and it's honestly like on its last leg I don't really pan a lot of things but as you can see there's pan in all of these three and then major pan right here as well I feel like the contour trend is definitely dying as far as I'm concerned but I have also started taking on more makeup clients so I just feel like this is definitely an essential in my kit now this has a 12 month shelf life and I don't know how old this palette is but typically with powder products I haven't had any problems and this is my go-to contour palette even with my skin tone I can usually use this middle shade here otherwise if I'm tanner I can mix these and make it work a lot of people ask me all the time what I use to contour and I do tell them it's this palette I just feel like this is the best value for money there are the Anastasia kits I just feel like those tones don't work for me and then I have no intention of picking up the Kim Kardashian kits I feel like they're so overpriced and you can't return them but this I picked up full price from Sephora when it first came out and this today at TJ Maxx was $19.99 and it says compare at $35 but honestly this Kat Von D palette is more than $35 I want to say it's at least in the $40 range so they definitely gave you a good deal with this and this is a brand new palette it's never been swatched so I am so excited that I scored this baby really really fun I did also see they had like silly sponges and those like fishtail brushes and things like that. Not really interested in that, but and usually I do take a peek at the TJ Maxx like beauty section and the Marshalls one as well. And I never really see name brand stuff, but today they had MAC, they had Buxom, Kat Von D, just a bunch of stuff. So I was really, really excited. Everything else I got was basically $6.99 or $9.99 and that palette was $19.99. In case I didn't mention, I didn't get a lot of stuff guys, but I just thought I would show you. I want to swatch these for you, but I did check with TJ Maxx and they said their return policy is you can't use the product so I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep all of this I just kind of wanted to show you that you are able to get some of this nicer stuff at TJ Maxx if you don't want to pay full price so this is a Kat Von D True Romance eyeshadow trio and I got the shade Fever Ray they had a couple of other shades there was a green trio and a blue trio as well I picked this one up because it's more what I gravitate towards now this again has a 12 month shelf life has 0.2 Two five ounces of product and was made in the USA so here is what it looks like I think this is a really pretty set of eyeshadows for the fall time if you're interested in that this mauve shade is gonna be a beautiful crease shade and then these two shimmer shades you can kind of pop on your lid basically a great on-the-go palette you could also swirl these all together and use as a blush so I just wanted to show you guys this was $9.99, which makes it the second most expensive thing I picked up in this haul. I was I was just really excited to find some like name brand stuff. Now everything else is from Bite Beauty and these were $6.99. I'm on a huge Bite Beauty kick. I actually recently picked up their little mini set for the holidays from Sephora. I'm actually wearing the shade Demi Glaze 
or gla glace or whatever this color is called right now and so I've just been really enjoying them so when I saw some of their lip products I got really excited this is the buttercream lipstick in rosewood now I have the Anastasia lipstick in rosewood so that was really cool and I love the show rosewood if you guys haven't seen it it's a really cool show um, but yeah I haven't seen these in forever on from bite beauty and I don't even know if they make these anymore but these were like those hand cut lipsticks that they were promoting a while back and it's basically like chopped off this is a beautiful rosy shade and I love bite beauty's packaging it's so beautiful and luxurious feeling so I definitely feel like I'm gonna keep these I will maybe you know let you guys know uh, if I'm wearing them in Instagram photos right now I just don't want to swatch them because I'm not a hundred percent sure yet if I'm gonna keep these uh, this is the luminous creme lipstick in the shade sin sin I think it's cin cin uh, this one too I was just really excited this I believe is bites old packaging it has that little bite you know taken off kind of thing and this is a really beautiful shade as well it's like a beautiful rosy you know not over the top red but a beautiful shade nonetheless so I think this is gonna stay in my collection I mean usually guys bite beauty lipsticks are like 20 bucks or so so to get them for $6.99 is a freaking steal I basically total spent like fifty four dollars and seventy seven cents at TJ Maxx which I think is an amazing deal because you can't get the shade and light palette for that price. I could have maybe got the shade and light palette in one of these. No, that would have been $70. So it would have been way more expensive. Now this is another Luminous Creme lipstick and this is in the shade Musk. This is like my kind of nude. Like it's a beautiful, like a little bit of mauve, a lot brown. So I think I'm going to keep all three of these. Look for updates on Instagram. I just again wanted to show you guys that I found some of these awesome deals at TJ Maxx. And if you guys are interested in shopping for high-end makeup, sometimes you can really find great deals at TJ Maxx. Okay, that's everything I wanted to tell you guys about in this video. Let me know if you have any questions. Actually, let me know if you found any hidden treasures at TJ Maxx. I would love to hear what you found there and how much you paid for it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys.